Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now today, case is about uh, this 25 years old male patient who presented with this lesion um, over the right uh, lower lid um, covering lateral of three-fourth uh, area. So when you encounter any lump or mass, you should describe its characteristics like this that the lesion was painless or painful so it was a painless gradually increasing lesion for the last few years. Now this raised multilobulated soft spongy lesion with smooth shiny overlying skin measuring size 2 into 1 centimeter uh, dark blue brownish hyperpigmented mobile compressible and reducible mass looked like vascular lesion vascular anomaly so in first glance it looked uh, like capillary hemangioma the dark purplish uh, brown, uh, bluish uh, looking but age is not of capillary hemangioma the patient is 25 years old and capillary hemangiomas um, they usually disappear at this age now other differential diagnosis um, are cavernous hemangioma, AV male formations, lymphangioma and eyelid uh, viruses. Now on small salva the mass increased. So we diagnosed this patient uh, as a case of eyelid viruses. Now eyelid viruses are well circumscribed soft dark blue to brown lesions with no associated audible bruit or thrill. This patient had no uh, bruy thrill and it was a non pulsatile mass um, uh, it can be associated with the orbital component so you have to do ct scan to rule out it can be associated with thrombus uh, when thrombus is present lesion is firm and less compressible viruses can rupture with minor trauma or vomiting resulting in hemorrhages and echymosis in this patient we rule out orbital component now what is varix it is an abnormal dilatation of one or more veins dilatation is either due to congenital or acquired weakness of the involved veins that can occur due to trauma tumor compression infection av male formation arterial aneurysm anything now in most cases varices are observed uh, varix is observed if it is small not causing cosmetic disfigurement and not increasing in size to rule out orbital component ct scan is done when it is gradually increasing like this um, symptomatic and cosmetic concerns then we have the options treatment options of intra perilesional steroid injections uh, sclerosing agent injection of 0.75 percent sodium tetra decal sulfate and last but the most successful treatment option is surgical excision so that was all about this case of eyelid viruses and we have also told you that whenever you encounter a mass or lump you have how to describe it what are the characteristics that you should not forget with torch you can do trans illumination as well thank you very much